Hi, I'm Adam Winfield of Lincolnshire Photo Training and this is day three of our 12 days of Christmas. Okay, so these are 12 gifts, 12 ideas um, for Christmas presents or for buying in the, uh, the New Year sales after Christmas. Okay, so I'm sticking to a theme today. Uh, yesterday we looked at um, stocking fillers and we looked at camera batteries and I told you that you needed spare batteries. So I'm going to stick on exactly the same theme and tell you that this, uh, today, day three, you need memory cards. Okay, one memory card is just not enough. Okay, you need to be out there just like yesterday with batteries, you need a spare battery, you need spare memory cards. Okay, the last thing you want to be doing is on a shoot, is running out of uh, memory on your camera or thinking about, okay, which images do I need to delete off my camera so I can carry on shooting? It's not a situation you want to be in, so you need memory cards. So again, like yesterday, there's loads of memory cards you can buy, loads of makes. Um, I don't particularly um, uh, recommend a, a particular make, uh, because generally um, memory cards nowadays are really, really good. They're really reliable. I've personally, fingers crossed, never had an issue with memory cards, but there are lots of stories about memory cards being corrupted um, and people losing images. Um, I haven't got any experience of that yet, um, but do you know what? I'm pretty sure that one day I will do. Um, so at the moment, I stick to SanDisk memory cards. I don't recommend SanDisk, um, I do use some other ones, um, but it's just the brand that I tend to go to. Um, they have lots of different ones. This is a SanDisk Ultra. Uh, the Ultra just refers to the, the speed um, that photographs can transfer to the to the memory card um, and there's certainly sp certain speed specifications. Um, to be honest, um, I wouldn't worry too much about getting the, the, the most expensive, the latest, the fastest cards. Generally it doesn't matter unless you're shooting sports um, or something professionally and you need really, really fast read and write speeds, I wouldn't worry. I would I would look at see what your budget is and I'd buy a card accordingly. Um, the other thing, you could buy cards in different sizes. You can see this is just a 4 gig card, which is quite small nowadays. Um, you can go up to 32, 64 gig. Just a word of warning here, I don't use really big capacity cards. I don't use 32 or 64 gig cards. If you think about it, what you will do with a 64 gig card, for instance, is you'll keep using it until you fill it. So that means that that card, that little tiny card, whether it's a, um, a compact flash card or just an SD card, a, um, a small card that you might use for some of your cameras, um, you'll fill that with all your photos. Um, and that's a big risk. You've got loads, hundreds, thousands of photographs on an individual card. Um, and that's not a good place to be because these things are small, they're easily dropped, they're easily lost. Um, so what I tend to do is I tend to keep my cards to about 8 or 16 gig uh, particularly with my 5D now, it's, it fills up the card quite quickly with big images. So a, um, a 16 gig card, um, I, I tend to use those. So it forces me to change the cards regularly. And that's just, in my mind, that just helps me to think that if something does go wrong, if I lose a card, I'm not losing all my images. I've not lost, you know, sort of thousands of images, hundreds of images. I've only lost so many. It's just a little thing that I think anyway. Um, and they're quite cheap. Um, so um, have plenty of, of memory cards. Okay, have a system for using your memory card. So when you've shot your memory cards, when it's full, put another one in. When you get home, download the, the photos to your computer, back your photos up, and then once you're happy that you've got your photos backed up safely, then format or delete the memory card and get it ready for your next shoot, okay? So have three or four cards. You can never have enough of these things. I've got loads of these. Um, you've never, but keep them in a system so that you've, you've got spare cards ready to go. And keep them in a safe place. So I always have one of these. So this is just a little memory card case that I have. I have two or three of these in all my um, camera bags. Uh, so I always have a spare card and I've got probably got some part used or some used cards. So you see I've got a card here um, and I know it's a part used one um, because it's turned face down in my case. So if I have a, a new card, I'll pop it in and I'll pop it in face up. So I might have it in my card like that, so I know that this one's ready to go, that one's either part used or fully used. It's face down, so, so I know I can't grab that one straight away, but I can grab this one. And the other thing I do with my memory cards is, um, if I can get this one out of the case now, is you might see on the back of that, I write my contact details on there. So generally on a memory card, I'll write my name, Adam Winfield, I'll put my mobile telephone number on there, and I might even put a note to say, please return and there's a reward. Okay, just in case I lose them, I want my memory cards back, okay? So day three of 12 days of Christmas, um, we've looked at batteries yesterday. Um, today, we're looking at memory cards. Same principle, have some of these spare, manage them carefully, have them ready to go. Okay, see you soon, bye-bye.